you honestly never know i've had some crazy deals come through that welcome to another how to color grade in CapCut pc app tutorial video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i color graded a talking head video from my friend amplify views yes some of you will know him as linden chasing so he's my friend my newfound friend it he has taught me a lot and i just helped him to color grade one of his video which he has in his course you can check him out you can check amplifier view and check out his free course if you want to do that it's a very good course for everyone to check out so i saw this video in his ship section course okay and i felt yes i could color grade it for him so you can check out the course so what you're going to learn is how to color grade how to color correct and how to make a video vibrant i don't want to waste your time i'm just going to go straight right onto it so yes this is CapCut pc so so i'm going to bring in this clip as you can see let me play it for you so that you can see it for yourself you honestly never know i've had some crazy deals. yes so this is the the clip and now i'm gonna bring it to live and to do that you know what i always start with i come to these three dots and i click on color slit scope and i turn that directly on okay so what am i looking for as you can see a lot of color out i'm basically looking at this i want to try to move this up all right so to do that i need to go to adjustment all right so let's move to adjustment then curves very important so now that we are in curves i've explained this before but i'll briefly explain it again so from the top is your white highlights mid-tone shadow and the blacks so you can get the black out of your image by moving this upward and you can get the white out of your videos by moving this downwards okay but for me i'm just going to create two dot two dots sorry on the highlight and one for the shadows because that's what i want to work with i want to get that edge curve so now let's move on to the highlight and just move it up if i want to move that up because i want it okay i want to see this below graph you can see it's, it's down here i want it to come somewhere yeah this level is good the highlight or sh say the shadow is quite good not bad at all but we'll try to increase this a bit not overdoing it so let's do that let's increase it okay so we try to increase it not too much okay we don't want to overdo it we just want it to be a little bit better and then we'll reduce the shadows okay perfect so this is this is perfect we don't want to overdo it as you can see it's just beneath that line okay it's just beneath that line so i think i'm okay with what i have right about now like i said if you want to reduce the white in the image you can reduce the white in the image a little okay you can and if you want to reduce the black you can also do that by increasing this so you can see already without even adding the colors the colors are coming to life already and this is where we want to go over to basic again and adjust some temperature and shadows okay so let's start with saturation watch this cup while i increase the saturation if i reduce the saturation it gets the red totally out as you can see but if i increase it okay so we are halfway there we can totally take it up if that's what we want and it's cool there we can also increase the temperature okay giving some skin tone and yes as you can see to the top you see where it says skin tone protection you always want to have that turned off to protect your skin so if i click on that let's see what happens as you can see it's going to protect the skin so even if we adjust this a little putting some temperature to the image is going to make sure the screen is protected then you can actually move this if you want the skin you know a bit just color grading exactly is what you make it be you want it to be what you want it to be i hope you understand that so now please watch to the end now we have it this way we are good with it you can increase 
other stuff you can play with other stuff the highlight brightness and the rest okay you can reduce that it's totally up to you you can increase brightness you don't want to overdo that as you can see remember to always watch this you don't want to overshoot it so we can just reduce that a bit all right and then with contrast you might want to reduce that too all right i think i like it at 77 yes seven is my best number actually but i'm just saying so we reduce this and we just make this shadow you can increase the shadow or reduce it to about three okay and we can take it to about minus six minus five or minus seven right so now you can see if we've gone we've already gone from let me show you where we've gone from we've gone from this to this from this to this so you see we've already done a lot with this and it's looking great already if you want to stop there if you, you can do that you can see you can actually increase the blacks the white for instance there's white on this cup if you want to increase that like i said this is i think this is a new addition the white okay so you can actually increase the white if you want to and reduce the black if you want to but for me i'll leave that at zero and i'll reduce this i'll just leave that as it will okay it's totally up to you i'll just leave that at zero because i don't want to mess things up you so you see you have sharpening now we have clarity so CapCut pc always keep updating and that's why i keep making these color grading videos because we have new things we can test out you can see sharpening you can just sharp, sharpen a little okay i don't like to overdo it because if you overdo it this is what you get but if you just make that a little like say one it gives you that and clarity you can also you can see how good clarity makes it now look okay so you can just reduce that a bit cap cut ai possibility is just spectacular and you get what you want okay now we have that we can go over to the hsl tab and now play with the colors the more you can actually add more red to the cup by increasing saturation here okay as you see you can make the cup more vibrant if you want or you can actually reduce it if you want so it's totally up to you but for me i'll just leave it at 57 i'll just leave it at 57 so you see the cup is more vibrant and if there were blues or orange and the rest i'll just go over and see if okay like let me show you something before i increase the green watch this plant here and this because it has a little green so once i increase that it tends to work for it if i reduce that you see it gets those green colors out of the plant the plants are here but once i increase it it makes it vibrant again as you can see so color grading is super easy not complicated at all just take the steps i've showed you and you'll be able to do that see you on the next one stay blessed